Zoop W just sent me their brand new 180 watt portable solar panel. And if it's anything like their 450 watt panel, this panel is going to be awesome. Now here are both of the solar panels side by side. This is the 450 watt solar panel. And then over there you have the 180 watt solar panel, just so you can see the size difference. Now the 450 watt panel actually has four panels that open up to be a really long design. And the 180 watt is much lighter because it's just a bifold solar panel. So let's set that one up. Now the solar panel only weighs 12 pounds, so it's really light. It actually has magnets that hold it together. And all you have to do is just lay it out, grab the kickstands, and then lay it down. Super easy to set up. Well, now that the solar panel's set up, let's take a second to go through some of its features. It definitely checks all of the boxes I'm looking for. For example, you have two comfortable handles on the top. Each of the corners have these bumpers on it to protect the frame of the solar panel. It's a lightweight aluminum frame. As for the coating, it has an ETFE coating. You can see the cell type here. It's using the Topcon N-type cells with 16 bus bars. That should help with the efficiency. Now for the actual output, you have MC4 connections. This does come with a solar cable with a bunch of different adapters. And then if you look on the back, there are two kickstands. They are somewhat adjustable. There's one for each panel. Now this is the extension cable that comes with the solar panel. It's about 10 to 12 feet long and you have all these adapters. You get a 5521, you get an XT60, you get a 7909 and also an 8020 barrel adapter that goes on top of that. And then you also get Anderson. So quite the few adapters that come with this solar panel. Taking a quick look at the spec sheet on the back of the solar panel, this is a 12 volt, 180 watt solar panel. The maximum power voltage is around 17.3 volts and 10.4 amps. Voltage open circuit is 20.1 volts. So this is gonna be compatible with basically any power station out there. So the solar panel has been set up for about 20 minutes now. It has warmed up, so I wanna see how much power we can get out of this. Now it is perfectly lined up with the sun. We're exactly at midday. So let's plug it into the power station and see what we get. So I've just connected in the solar panel and you can see we're charging around 170 to 171 watts input, which is pretty good for the conditions today. Now I've just installed this inline watt meter to break down what type of power we're seeing. So we're getting about 12 amps around 15 volts and that's right around 175 to 172 watts. Now you guys know I also like to test for partial shading just to see how these two panels are wired together. I'm guessing they're wired together in parallel, but let's find out. I'm shading this here. So do we lose all the panel output or do we only lose half of it? So with shading on half of the solar panel, we are still getting, well, a little bit more than half the output. So from 170 watts down to about 112 watts. So yes, this does perform really good in partial shading. Now I actually have these clouds rolling in. So it'd be pretty cool to see how it performs in overcast conditions. Let's see if a cloud will pop up and block the sun. Some of you may be wondering, what's the best use case for a solar panel like this? And I generally use these to charge up my power stations or batteries while camping, but these would also work great for emergency preparedness, overlanding, or basically any off-grid situation. Now, while we're waiting for one of the clouds to show up here, I just want to talk about the upgraded kickstands on the 180 watt model. And that was kind of an issue with the 450 watt solar panel is that the kickstands would break. Now I have two of those and my kickstands did not break, but I did have viewers that had their kickstands break. So they've upgraded the kickstands on this panel and they're releasing a new 450 watt panel with upgraded kickstands. Now the best news is, is if you happen to have one of the first gen 450 watt solar panels, Zoop W will send you out new upgraded kickstands that you can install on the solar panels. Okay guys, one of the clouds showed up. Let's see how much power we get with overcast conditions. Okay, so with overcast conditions, we're still getting 37 watts. Now, all clouds are different. You have really dark clouds, you have really light clouds. This is kind of a mixture in between. The rule is usually 10% of the output for cloudy weather. So we are getting a little bit better than that, almost 40 watts. Well, it looks like I had a perfect test window for the new Zoop W 180 watt panel because now the clouds have settled in. But that's okay, we gotta test it in full sun and in overcast conditions. Now I'm sure you guys are curious about pricing on the solar panel. If you look on Amazon, it's actually on sale right now for $189 and it also has a $10 off coupon so you can get this for $179. Now that's right around $1 per watt. 
Now, if anyone is familiar with these portable panels, they used to be priced around two to three dollars per watt. So I love seeing these prices come down, especially for a solar panel that has this good of build quality and performance. Now, I really like that they've gone with a smaller form factor solar panel. I love the power output of their larger 450 watt panel, but it's kind of a big panel and not all the time do you need a panel that big. So having a more affordable, smaller option is really good. And it's just really easy to set up because it's a bifold design. Now, if you guys are interested in this solar panel, I'll have the link to it down in the video description. And also keep an eye out for a future video where I upgrade the kickstands on the 450 watt version and I'll do a durability test just to see the difference in the kickstand design. That video will be coming soon. Guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'll recommend a couple of videos that you can check out and we'll see you guys in the next one.